Hello everyone, welcome along to Rathbone Manor once again. Um, there's nothing more I enjoy uh, than going to the car boot sale looking for unusual tools. Um, I've got several of them here. Here's one. Picked these up a couple of years ago. Really interesting Stanley Max Grip pliers. Very interesting, I like those. And then a few weeks ago I found this fella right here. Um, I also quite like uh, adjustable spanners, especially if there's something interesting. I've got a very nice barco here, like that. Um, that came from the boot sale. This I purchased new. This is a Stanley Fat Max demolition spanner, would you believe? Very nice indeed. Uh, 250mm long. Now the last time I went to the car boot sale, I found this little fella right here. Um, it was on a top of a box of ordinary spanners and it stood out, as I'm sure you can imagine, like a sore thumb. So I thought, oh, what's that? I'm going to have to have that. Um, tell you what, guys, let's take a closer look at it, shall we? And this is just the kind of tool that I like to find at the boot sale. Um, if I remember rightly, this little fella cost me £4. Um, as you can see, it's a very beefy spanner by today's standards. It's quite thick, really quite heavy. And it's got an unusual head on it, look. Look at this, the jaws on this. How different is that? And I thought to myself, what on earth is that all about? I had no idea um, when I picked it off the stall. I thought, well, I'm having that because it's so interesting. Uh, and it wasn't till I got home and started the uh, car boot sale review, and namely looking at this, because this is my star buy of the day. Uh, and it wasn't until I actually started messing about with it that um, I found out exactly what it did. So yeah, so this is a uh, ratcheting screwdriver. It's got a little uh, laser, a laser etched or, um, it's either laser, laser etched or um, chemically etched diagram of what happens just here. Um, the only thing with this particular one is this spring is uh, a little worn, probably rusted away, doesn't work properly, but um, what I'm going to do guys, because it works like an ordinary uh, adjustable spanner in this sense of the word, but um, let's take it down the workshop shall we, and see exactly what we can do with it. Okay then, so here we are in the workshop, and as you can see I have a, um, a Barco 73 here that I'm currently working on, I'm going to have this on my wire wheel a little later on today, so that's why it's in pieces, but uh, we haven't come to look at this, and we've come to look at this Stanley. Fat Max, what's the model number here? We have a uh, 97546 10 inch or 250 millimeter adjustable spanner with this unusual jaw going on right here. So, uh, what we'll have to do is I've got um, a few nuts and bolts, etc., here we can have a go with. So, we'll uh, Oh, hang on, I've got a large one here too. Got this uh, M24, I wonder if that'll fit in there. We'll give that a go too. So, um, okay then, so just in case there's somebody out there who doesn't know what an adjustable spanner does, you roll the little thumb wheel here and it adjusts it to fit the size of the uh, nut or bolt you're working on. And we can get a nice snug fit and we can apply a fair amount of torque um, with an adjustable spanner that will fit just about any size of nut or bolt that will fit in this range of adjustment here. As you can see we just tighten that one up. So let's loosen him off again. There we go. But you've got to keep um, either adjusting it, as you can see here with the roller, you've got to keep adjusting it, uh, tightening it up, let it go, putting it back on the nut, tightening up and then uh, applying more torque again. So the idea of this uh, Stanley here, okay, here's the Stanley, as you can see the jaw differs considerably to an ordinary uh, adjustable spanner. So let's get that on there, and there is a specific way of mounting this on the nut, so uh, let me just move the camera so that hopefully we can get a better view, I'm not sure how well this is going to work here. Let's have a look, can we see there? Hang on, one second guys. Okay, so this unusual jaw is um, proving a little difficult for me to show you 
how a, uh, we mount a nut or bolt in here. You can see there's a, um, you can see that very well guys. There you go, you can see it's an unusually shaped jaw, it's not straight. The top jaw is not straight like a standard spanner. It is got an angle on it, look, can you see that? See the difference there guys? Oops. Okay, so the idea is that we um, push the nut or bolt we're working on into this corner there, like so. Hopefully you can see that. And then we tighten the jaw and it gets hold of the other opposite corner there. Look, you can see that. Okay, so that's how this particular spanner works. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. If not, I'll put a, I'll take a better photograph and put it up just here for you to take a look at. Okay, so I've had to go in with a uh, this M12 nylock nut here because the other I just couldn't film it very well with a smaller nut and bolt. Um, hopefully, I can show you how this jaw works here with this uh, nylock nut here. The lighting is really awkward for this. We've got a shiny, shiny spanner. Um, it's just really awkward, guys. To be honest with you. Right, so get, let's just get it snug down a little bit. There we go. Right, and let's try again, and we can hopefully see how the mechanism works for this uh, spanner here. Right, so here we are, snugged up. It's, it's caught it just um, down here. Look, you can see where it's caught it on the nut. So we tighten him up, and then when we want to. Uh, Bring it back again for another turn. See how the jaw works, and it should, in theory, snap back. But the spring is a little weak, and then we're off again. Loosen them off. Snaps back. And so on and so forth. There we go. So you get some idea of how it works guys. It's an absolute nightmare with this lighting but uh, and the weak spring doesn't help either because the jaw's not snapping back as it should do. Um, hopefully I can re-spring this. I think you get the idea of how it works though. Quite interesting. Once it's snugged onto the uh, nut or bolt it'll basically stay there. Okay then, so I hope I've given you some idea of how this uh, spanner works. This uh, unusual jaw here. So um, let's get it uh, back to the studio and continue the conversation. So there we go. I do apologise about the uh, the lighting in there. It was uh, quite awful trying to film this shiny spanner uh, with the student with the lighting down there. Um, as I say, this is a very chunky. Uh, well engineered spanner, maybe a little bit too over engineered maybe. Um, as you can see we have a 250mm uh, barco here. Look at the difference in the thickness of it all. We've got a, quite a large head going on here too. Um, I'm not sure the, uh, you know, the reach is as good as the uh, barco. Let's have a look. Not far off, I don't think. It's not far off, really. Probably a little bit of a difference there between the two of them. But, um, as I say, when I saw this sitting on top of those box of adjustable spanners at the car boot sale last week, I thought, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to have that because what's that all about for a start? Um, and as I say, this is very well made. I quite like the thing, actually. And uh, it goes very nicely with my Fat Max demolition spanner here which is um, equally, I like it, the design of the thing. We've got a similar idea to the little um, jimping, I guess you could call it, just here. We've got a very similar idea on this one too, apart from there's only three of them, and one just there. But um, the idea is similar. They've got a pry bar, nail puller. Uh, the jaws are slightly longer, I think, than a standard... Um, Adjustable spanner too, got slightly longer jaws. Get up with a bit more. And also we have a spanner, a spanner, a hammer 
on the end here. So um, quite a nice spanner too that one. Okay then everyone, I uh, hope to go off to the car boot sale this coming Sunday, a week's time, and uh, where I hopefully can find more interesting uh, and different tools for you guys to take a look at. I did this, I did have to buy this one new though. I didn't get this from the car boot sale, but um, everything else you see here came from the car boot sale. Um, I've got reviews of uh, this, um, the Stanley. I've got reviews of that. Got a review of this little fella down there as well. So if you want to take a look at those, I will uh, leave you some links <clears throat> down below and also on screen links which you've just seen there. Um, still yet to review this. This is an older uh, vice grip, one of the early ones, that one. This is quite an interesting one. This is by uh, Seymour Smith. But I think it's probably the same age, more or less, as uh, the. Um, Vice grip here, so they're both the same age, I think. But um, I hope you enjoyed popping over to uh, Rathbone Manor and taking a look at this spanner. I hope the um, exposure problems I had didn't spoil it for you, and um, I hope you'll pop back again another time. Um, you can join me on Instagram if you wish. I'm over there on Instagram. This has been on there several times. Um, don't forget guys you can subscribe to the channel if you wish to if you enjoyed my content please feel free to subscribe and ring the bell and um, I will catch you back here at Rathbone Manor hopefully next Sunday where I will have picked up some more interesting kit for you guys to take a look at so I'll, uh, I'll catch you then take care <coughs>